My favorite science story this week is a bit of a warning that getting medical advice from ChatGPT might be more dangerous than you'd think. Tracy, you are going to die. What? No! When I tell you who I'm dating. This comes from a study just published in Nature Medicine. I have a link in the description. And it shows that while large language models like ChatGPT do really well on medical exams, and we see that in the news all the time, that's not the same as talking to a patient and coming up with the right diagnosis. Tracy, you are going to die. What? No! You have no reflexes, your blood tastes like root beer, and some of your bones appear to have vanished. Large language models pass medical exams where you have to read a case study and then you have to guess the diagnosis from a multiple choice list. But when a patient talks to their doctor, the patient doesn't write up their medical history that way. And it's not a multiple choice list. So researchers wanted to know if those chatbots that did so well on the medical exams would do well with those conversations. The researchers used 2,000 medical case studies covering a huge range of medical conditions. The large language model acting as the doctor didn't get to read the case studies directly. Instead, it talked to a patient with a realistic back and forth dialogue. So here's an example. Doctor, I've got a sudden rash with blisters all over my chest and arms. What is your age and sex? I'm a 55 year old man. How long have you had this rash? The rash just popped up suddenly. Have you been in contact with any new substances or environments lately? Nope, I've just been in the hospital. Have you started any new medications lately? And it goes from there. The chatbot in this case doesn't pick up on the very obvious clue about the hospital and ultimately in this case it gets the diagnosis wrong. It's actually the complications from a surgery that didn't go well. Overall, chatbots do much worse with these conversations than they do on the medical exams. In this study, ChatGPT4 scored 82% on the exams, but in the open-ended conversations, it only got the diagnosis right 26% of the time. I have no doubt that we're headed towards a future where these large language models can give good medical advice. In fact, that's going to take a huge load off the medical system since millions of people are going to be able to get a diagnosis on their cell phone instead of going to emergency when they get a rash. But this paper shows very clearly that we are not there yet. So if you think you have a problem serious enough that you want to get a doctor's opinion, you should go see a human doctor. Every week, I round up my five favorite science stories. This is just one of them. If you want to see the other four, you've got to sign up for my newsletter. It's called The Bat Signal. You can sign up at followthebatsignal.com.